The dog liked it while a ripe package in dry ice. Make sure to tear off and save the label with the ID printed on and keep it safe. Once you open the kit, you will find three information documents. Kit user manual, sample submission form and shipping instruction. Before you proceed to the next step, please carefully read over these three materials and fill out the sample submission form. Make sure you understand and complete the sample submission form before the experiment. The form is designed to help you define your selection objectives, clarify your selection logic, and set up your selection condition. Notice, upon finishing the experiment, it is very important to attach the sample submission form along with the post-selection samples and ship both back to us. Beats Capture Test Make sure you have all the experiment reagents and supplies for the test before proceeding. It is crucial to avoid contamination during affinity selection. And here are a few tips that we would like to offer to you. You want to perform the selection in a place where away from any possible contamination source. When it comes to sample handling, try to keep bench as clean and organized as possible. And be aware of keeping the tube containing gel molecules tightly closed when handling other samples. Speaking from experience, it is best to keep only one tube open at a time. Make sure you wear tight gloves when performing the selection to avoid contact with the liquid during sample handling. We recommend to use DNA low-bind tubes, and you must use filtered tips and replace with new tips between samples. Use fresh deionized water consistently throughout the entire selection process. Fresh here refers to water from never once opened water container after collecting from the ultra filter. Therefore, the best way is to aliquot new unopened water and only use each aliquot one time. You want to clean the pipette with DNA spray frequently, especially between two selection rounds. Please be mindful and never let the solution in the tubes get in contact with the cap. If you see droplet in a cap, pipette it back to the main sample volume and then transfer to a brand new tube. Prepare enough beads and wash beads with 200 microliters washing buffer. Then divide beads into 10, 20, and 30 microliters in three separate tubes. various amount of beads in a 100 microliter selection buffer at room temperature for 30 minutes with shaking. Collect flow through. Wash beads once with a 100 microliter selection buffer. Collect the supernatant. Elute the remaining from beads. Celsius for five minutes. Perform protein gel electrophoresis with protein input, flow through, wash, and beat. tips to help you with affinity selection. A total of three rounds of affinity selection need to be performed. And it is important to note that fresh protein beads matrix should be used to incubate resolution from the previous round of selection every time. Add beads to four tubes respectively. Wash beads 
with 200 microliters washing buffer for two times. Then discard supernatant. micrograms of protein in a 100 microliter selection buffer. Incubate at room temperature for 30 minutes with shaking. Wash once with 200 microliters selection buffer. Then discard supernatant. Wash with 200 microliters selection buffer for three times. Dilute with 100 microliters selection buffer by heating at 95 degrees Celsius for 10 minutes. Incubate the supernatant with fresh protein beef and repeat another two rounds. Transfer the supernatant of the third round to the corresponding post Place your code selection samples into the sample container and ship back to us along with the sample submission form according to the shipping guideline. Please note, you have to ship back the samples in dry ice with independent packaging.